In this video, we'll learn one more type of graph that is universal graph. We know Euler graph. Euler graph is a graph which has got Euler line. Euler line is a closed work that includes all the edges of graph without retracing any edge. That is nothing but a Euler line. Now, universal graph is a graph which has got universal line and universal line is an open walk that includes all the edges of a graph without retracing any edge. It's an open walk, an open walk which includes all the edges of a graph without retracing any edge is called an universal line and a graph that a connected graph the connected graph that has universal line is nothing but the universal graph the connected graph that has universal line is called universal graph okay just the difference in Euler graph it's a closed walk we have Euler line which is closed walk which contains all the edges of graph and no edges repeated here the same thing but we are having an open walk which includes all the edges of graph without uh, with, without uh, retracing any edge which is a universal line and if any connected graph has got such universal line then that graph is called universal graph let me give an example So this is my graph. Of course, here all the uh, okay. Here I I can find uh, an open walk which includes all the edges of graph G. Say I'll start from this. I'll name in order. Okay, one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I start from here, okay, this vertex say v one one, v two two, v three three, v four four, v five. V3, V1 and then V5. I have started from V1. Okay. I am going like this. Of course, my this walk. Say this. V1, 1. V2, 2. V3, 3. V4, 4. V5, 5. V three six, V one seven, and V five. I'm reaching V five. Say, of course, it is not a closed walk, and this walk has got all the edges of graph. Therefore, this is an universal line. Therefore, the graph is universal graph. Okay. 
there is one theorem which states in a connected graph G with exactly 2k odd vertices there exist k edge disjoint subgraphs such that they together contain all the edges of G and each is universal graph. So how to prove this? See the statement may look difficult but it is quite easy. You have got a connected graph okay and you have got even number of odd vertices that is 2k odd vertices. Then there exist k edge disjoint subgraphs such that each of them have all the edges of G and each is a universal graph means each has got universal line. 2k odd vertices are there and I can define k edge disjoint subgraphs of this graph G and those subgraphs are nothing but the universal graph that I have to prove. So what I do is let uh, I'll name the odd vertices say I have got 2k odd vertices for graph G say I'll name the vertices v1 comma v2 dash 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 vk this is k odd vertices i have got 2k so i'll name some other w1 w2 up to wk so now total i have got 2k odd vertices okay I, we can even continue uh, VK plus 1, VK plus 2 like that up to V2K but just uh, I am using some other notation. It's for e it's easy for further steps. So uh, I have got 2K odd vertices now. What I am doing is I will define one more graph G dash. Okay. How I am doing I am getting this G dash is I am adding k edges, k edges to graph G. Okay, this G dash is obtained by adding, okay, I am adding k edges to G such that I am adding between edge between the vertex pair V1, W1, V2, W2 like that between vk wk my new graph g dash is obtained by adding k edges to graph g in such a way that n edges between v1 to w1 v2 to w2 like that okay so that new graph g dash obtained is a graph with all the vertices of even degree earlier graph g was a graph with the 2k odd vertices now after adding k edges the new graph g dash form is a graph with all even degree vertices we know by definition of an euler graph if graph has got all the vertices of even degree then it becomes an euler graph the other way around is also true so g dash becomes an euler graph so it must contain some Euler line say Z be an Euler line in G dash. Okay. Now what I am doing is from that Euler line Z I am removing the K edges which I have just added. So that that Euler line is splitted into K walks. Okay, and each walk is an Euler, sorry, is an universal line. I repeat, I have got an Euler line, okay. In that Euler line, I am removing K edges. Like, first I have added one edge, no, between V1, W1, that edge I remove, okay. After removal of that edge, from this Z, 
Okay, I have got one subgraph, which is the walk, which is the universal line. If I remove two second edge, then I'll get two universal lines. Like that, removal of k edges will split the graph into k subgraphs. In fact, they are nothing but the universal line. I'll explain with an example. Suppose this is my graph. Okay. I'll add the edges. This edge is a new edge which I'm adding. Okay. And I'll start finding the Euler line. Euler line. That is, say this. I'll start from this. One, two, three, four. 5, I'll come here, 6, then I'll take this root, 7, 8, then I'm coming back this way, 9, and I'm reaching here, 10. This is an Euler line now, started from this vertex, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. You just take this as initial graph G, just this part as a initial graph G, okay. I'm adding K edges, means I'm adding this edge, this edge and this edge, so that you can observe in this graph all the vertices are of even degree. So I can find an Euler line in this, that is this one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You should not write like this. You should name the vertices and then mention like vertex edge, vertex edge, vertex edge so that it is an Euler line. Uh, come close to walk. I am just mentioning in this way for the example's sake. So you have got G dash, the new graph, means by adding these edges, I have got G dash, which is an Euler graph. Now what I have to do? From the Euler line, I am removing the edges. Say I will name the vertices, say V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Hmm? I'll mention the walk. I'm starting from V1, V1, 1, V3, 2, 3, V5, 3, V4, 4, V3, 5, V2, 6, V1, 7, V4, 8, V2, 9, V5, 10, then I'm coming back to V1, which is an Euler line now. Okay, now from this Euler line, I'm removing the edges which I have added. I have added edge number 1, edge number 2 and this edge number 7. So if I remove this one edge from my Euler walk, then I am getting this new walk and this is also a universal walk which won't be closed, right? If I remove this edge, then I am removing this now so that it is it starts from v3 v3 2 v5 and all and it comes to v1 v3 uh, starts from v3 and ends at v1 so it is an open walk you can observe and it has got all the edges therefore it becomes a unicursal line similarly i have added the edge number two if i remove this edge i'm getting one more walk which is a unicursal line and if I remove edge number 7, this, then I'm getting one more unicursal line. That This is just example for this theorem. 
which states in a connected graph G with exactly 2 k odd vertices, there exist k edge disjoint subgraphs that they together contain all the edges of G and each is a universal graph. So that same thing happens. I am adding k edges and from the new graph I am removing one by one edges which I have added from the walk oil, which is an Euler line from that walk if I remove the edge which I have added initially so that the rest will form an universal line and if I remove the second edge then I will get one more like that on removal of k k edges which I have joined from the Euler line I am going to get a universal line.